Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of Ark. We're back on Vanilla with Sprinkles today, and we have an Equus down here. This thing is beautiful. It is also a 174, so we're gonna be taming this. I'm bringing over the Quetzal for this, rather than taming it in the wild, because this area is really dangerous. Like, there's snakes and stuff nearby, and I just don't want to deal with that, because I guarantee we'll probably either lose this, or I'll get killed by a Capro or something. So, man, this thing is really nice, though. It's, like, fully orange. What is, what, what color are the hooves? Like gray or something it's kind of hard to tell but uh yeah so we're gonna be taming this equus today kind of just spur of the moment i was over here with mystique just a couple minutes ago collecting up some meat and uh i just saw it so i was like yeah man we got we gotta get that thing it looks amazing so uh yeah uh, what else are we gonna do actually yeah, let's head over here first i want to show you something that i've been working on over there and then we'll probably We'll probably take a look at maybe doing some more work over there. We'll see. I, I don't really have like an actual plan for this. I was planning on doing something else, but once I spotted this thing, I was like, okay, we gotta get this. And that kind of doesn't fit in the same kind of episode as something that I have planned. So I guess we'll do that in another day. So um, yeah, I have carrots to tame this thing. They take Trudon kibble, which I I have like one Trudon kibble egg or whatever. I'm not sure if I have the kibble or the egg. One of them from just finding it out in the wild because we don't have Trudons yet. So, I don't know, eventually we're gonna have to actually get a, another horse with Trudon kibble. That would be pretty handy. Um, all right, we got the taming pen right over here, cool. So, yeah, I, I'm gonna use the carrots instead, obviously, because if we use the uh, if we use the kibble, it's, I can't feed it anything else. I can just give it one, so we kind of have to. And uh, carrots are the next best thing. So we're gonna drop it into this little pen here. This should make it a pretty easy tame. Man. Alright, let's drop down the Quetzal. Nice. Ah. <sighs> oh, what the hell is that? Oh, that's the... Okay. That's the hitching post. <laughs> it's all glitched up or something. So I made this taming pan before. I'm not even sure if I showed this off. I think I have, actually. I believe we have. I'm, I'm not sure when we made it. Let me see. Oh, I just spooked it somehow. I hardly even went up to you. Alright, well, we have to leave the area or something to let it unspook. <sighs> Alright, well, maybe what we could do is we can head over to that spot I was talking about just down here. So, I'm gonna grab Misty because it's gonna be much quicker to get over there with that. But, uh, guys, don't forget to hit that like button if you find yourself enjoying this video at any point. If you just help me out, do appreciate it. Uh, we gotta, we gotta grab Misty. I left her in the bottom here, so. Um, so basically, we were working on the Tower of Kibble area. So I kind of like laid out some gates and stuff you'll see and uh, we laid out like the foundation of where it's gonna actually be built and kind of uh, I think yeah I also put up the elevator too. Um, I think we're probably gonna be working on this soon but probably maybe a little bit today we're probably not gonna get it done today. It's gonna take a lot more grinding out of the resources and everything so. I gotta bring my Anki and my Dodic over here at some point, but uh, if you guys remember what happened to Winston the other day where his uh, his hat kind of got like glitched and turned into a blueprint, well that also happened to my Therizino, so my Therizino is just just gone for now. I have to <laughs> I have to bring that thing to the obelisk and try to upload it and then take it back out and then I gotta make a new saddle. Can I climb? I can. Nice. So uh, yeah, we're we're gonna have to do that at some point, but uh, I don't have to. I don't have time to like bring the uh, the Quetzal all the way down to Red Obelisk. That's such a long journey. But anyway, um, this is the Tower of Kibble area. This is where we're gonna be building it. As you can see, we've got the foundation of it over there. It's gonna be amazing. Um, but I also have gates here to kind of just keep it protected from the outside world. I don't trust this area. Like it's pretty safe around here in general, but. I don't know. I don't really completely trust it. There could be alphas coming off that cliff and then they come across or something. I don't know. I feel like this is just best to actually just keep it fully protected. Because it's going to be, you know, there's going to be a lot of really awesome dinos in here. And I don't want something getting in and attacking. And I don't want to have to leave things on, like, aggressive or something in here as well to protect it. So, yeah. Um, this is going to be it, though. Let's check it out. So, I'm going to hop off the steak. We got the elevator here. This thing is not powered yet, actually, I haven't put down the generator. So it's gonna actually, there's like a different thing in S Plus where you can set like different floors or something. Um, so when we're actually putting dinos up, we're gonna walk them onto the elevator and then we're gonna bring them up to the floor that we're gonna keep them on. And uh, essentially, whenever we wanna go up to that floor, we can just like hit whatever zero to like nine or whatever on the numpad to get up there. But uh, as you can see, this is the second floor here 
Uh, not exactly sure how much space I want to leave between each floor because I know for some of the dinos like Rexes and such they are quite tall so I'm gonna need to have I'm gonna it's gonna need to be like a, a high roof there because if their head peeks through the roof that's an issue so probably maybe like five or six walls for the Rexes and Spinos and I don't know if I'm gonna put Gigas in here eventually when we have Gigas and we're not gonna put Brontos in here I think I feel like that would just be dumb it would just be such a waste of material. So some creatures will be on the outside, but we can fit Rexes in there for sure. Uh, and Spinos as well. And Uteranus. So maybe like the Brontos or something will be lined up over here. And then we're going to have like Diplos and uh, what else is there? Gigas as well. I can't think of anything else that's quite large that we would be putting in there. But there's going to be just a bunch of dinos on each level. We're going to probably maybe, I don't know, maybe go for... Maybe four of each dino that lays eggs, so one male and three females. I feel like that's a good ratio. And yeah, we're just gonna have a huge, just a huge farm here. A lot of people were mentioning that um, it's out of render distance from my base. That's actually intentional, so I don't get lag from this area. But also, when I want to come here and like produce some eggs, I'm just gonna AFK, like just make myself like a little box or something, sit in there and uh, make sure I'm fully fed and watered and everything and just kind of AFK for a while pretty much. I'm gonna wait for the screen drop. It might not be something good, but we can check. Let's see. Yep, nothing good. I'm not even gonna bother grinding this up. I don't wanna waste the time. So yeah, this is the thing anyway. Let's work on the workshop down here because that's what this floor is. This is where we're gonna have like all of the stuff. We're gonna have like fridges over here. Um, we're gonna have like an egg collector, of course. We're gonna have uh, troughs, like probably different troughs for different types of foods. So we're gonna have um, like a normal meat trough, a fish meat trough, and then a berry trough. Probably like two or three berry troughs actually, because that's probably gonna take up a lot of them. Um, I don't know, we're probably gonna have like a lot of like berry creatures here. So I don't know, it could be kind of crazy. We got a bunch of materials in here anyway. I don't know what I want to start on. Maybe the generators and stuff. And the egg collector could just go in the very center. Uh, also, we can go back over and get that horse in a couple minutes. But uh, I would just want to try and get this done really quick. I want to have beds over here so I can spawn easily if I want to or fast travel or whatever. Uh, we're going to need this. Oh, that doesn't go there. It goes there. Oh, I'm full. Wait, what? Oh, I didn't take it. Okay. What am I heavy from? Probably the elevator tracks. I don't know why I even took those. Okay. So let's start popping down some of this stuff here. Nope. Number eight. There we go. Uh, needs to be in the center. Ish. That will do. Nice. Okay. So that's going to collect up our eggs for us. Um, what's weighing me down? Oh, this. Okay. Let me, let me chuck those back. I didn't even realize I had those. Okay, so egg collector's in the very center. We're gonna need power lines going right up to the front here. Eventually when we have tech tier, it's gonna be really handy because we're gonna have the um we're gonna have the tech generator, which is just gonna cover everything, but unfortunately for now we can't use that. So I wanna also get vertical. Uh let's put that here. So let me see. Seven. So we want to kind of like line it up pretty well, but we can, if if it's crooked or whatever to our generator, we can always just use the flexi cables, which is part of S+. Plus. Fantastic feature, honestly. It basically means that you can have cables like crooked and everything, and you just add that from one end to the other, and they just connect, and it's just, oh, it's so good. So uh, that needs to go vertical. There you go. Nice. So we're just going to make a start on that anyway. That's going to go up with all of the elevator track and kind of like bring power to every single floor as well if we need lights or whatever. I'm not sure what we're going to do, so Let's see. Uh, also, we got to add in one of these guys. Let's add it in right there. I think all those should be connected now. So where do we want the generator? So I feel like over here could be like a good spot for some of this stuff. I do need to make a flexi cable. So is that sticking through the wall at all? Uh, all right, just turn it slightly and there we go. That's okay. Oh, no. No, what number was it on? Eight, nine. There we go. 
Cool. So that's not sticking through, right? All right, amazing. Okay, so we have our generator down over here. I wanna put the fridges here too. So I think I'm gonna line them up along here because I want quite a few fridges because we're gonna have a lot of eggs to store here. And I also wanna keep some crops over here. Eventually we're probably gonna build a greenhouse over here too, just for convenience. And I also need a grill. That's one thing I didn't make. A grill will be super handy to have over here. I wanna line this up as well because these S plus ones snap to each other. So they need to actually be, oh, whoa, I didn't know you could stack them on top. That's, that's really cool actually. <laughs> All right, so we have, how many is that? Eight. We could actually, you know what? We could actually do this. Let's just, <laughs> why not? I mean, we can. That's not the worst thing ever, actually. You can still reach them. I like that. I really do. Okay, cool. So, oh, I thought I accessed the inventory. What the hell? Okay, server save. <laughs> that was weird. Um, let me eat two of those. So what else do I need to do here? Um, oh yeah, we gotta get an actual output from here. And we're gonna need to connect the cable over to here somehow. So probably flexi cables in combination with some other pieces. So let me grab some of those. Gonna grab this. And we're gonna do number seven. Ah, if only it went the other way, like that way. That would be a lot easier. All right, I guess we could just come out like this and then maybe one of these and then just go like this and we can get a flexi cable to connect the two ends here. Nice, do I have enough to build that? I don't think I have a fabricator here, do I? I don't think I built one for this place. Also, smithy down over here maybe. Looks like an okay spot. I might also try to get some other stuff like a chemistry bench, but those things are expensive, so I have to grind out some, I think probably polymer for that. That's probably the only thing I don't really have. Uh, okay, so beds as well. Um, maybe, I don't know, just over here. No, actually, let's, let's build them over here. Just in case. I'll put you right there. That's gonna do fine. Oh, we should probably name them as well. Okay. Um, oh wait, no. Sins Tower of Kibble. We're gonna copy that. Did that work? Yeah, it did. Nice. Making sure that I can fit it in the full name. If I can't, then I have to change it. There we go. Nice. Okay. So, fridges all set up. It looks pretty good, actually. I like the fridge wall. We need to definitely get some more on top there. Uh, we got our beds, we got our little workshop, I'm gonna get a fabricator here, maybe also a chemistry bench as we talked about. Uh, but I also gotta get one of these guys on here. Are you all gonna be powered when I put some gas in? Let me see. I think they have eight slots, right? And... Here we go! All of these are powered, nice. We can hide these cables after by just simply uh, going like this. And we can hide those boxes as well. So I'm going to show wires just so I can see where they are. Got to get that flexi cable at some point. And what else do I have on me? Um, bunch more cables for now. Uh, I guess we can actually throw in maybe like the second floor at least. Yeah. Super slow. Super freaking slow. Actually, you know what? I got a great idea. We can activate this elevator if I stick one of these on the end here. There we go. It should be able to reach now. Nice. Okay. I'm gonna stop it here. All right. Let's get the second floor in. Like so. Ooh. So if you're wondering what all this stuff right now is, uh, no, I'm not placing tree platforms onto the ground because I realize now that people are probably curious how I actually did this. These are uh, platform wedges. So it's like a piece like this. It's not an actual tree platform, but when you put 12 of them together, you make something that seems to be a tree platform. Uh, these are part of Platforms Plus, which is like a sister mod to, oh crap, which is like a sister mod to Structures Plus. 
uh, made by the same mod dev, and I believe this stuff is actually coming with Structures Plus to the full game eventually, I'm not sure. Uh, so, yeah, you can snap these onto pillars, which is really handy, so that's how I actually placed all of this. I think there's a pillar at the back there. I don't have my spyglass, but it's like way back there, you can see it kind of. So yeah, pretty freaking cool. Um, I think the workshop's probably good for now. I'll just chuck in the uh, propellant that I have. So that's how I power this egg collector. I'm not actually going to turn it on yet, but yeah. So I just got to come through here and like fix this place up a little bit. Probably add in all the other workshop bits that we were talking about. And then also uh, fix up the actual cables here. Make sure that stuff is all working. And then it's just a matter of just getting enough resources to make the second level. We're going to always keep this side here open. We might also have to have some of these walls on the further up floors missing as well to get the creatures in because unfortunately the elevator track, the way it kind of works is that like this is obviously always going to be in the way or else I'll have to have it on the outside over here and that would have been really hard to line up and make work with the current design that we're using right now. So yeah, this is the best I could do basically is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> anyway, let's head back over and, uh, and let me drop the stuff back here. Let me head back over and we'll probably take a look at taming that Equus. Uh, I also get this on a drop as well. Um, when did I get that? I didn't get that on video, video right now, did I? I don't think I did. I can't remember sometimes. <laughs> Alright, so, let's grab Mystique. Place is looking pretty good though. Definitely liking what we're doing here. It's gonna be a really fun project to fully, like, just get fully done and it's going to be something that's going to be really handy all the time, like whenever we need kibble for imprinting or taming or whatever, we're going to just be able to come here and we're going to have it. Uh, now this is not going to be available to other people to use. Uh, it's going to be our little kind of, our little project. And if people want, they can buy kibble because we're going to build a kibble shop as well. Kmart, which is what we're going to call it. Um, so yeah, we're going to build that in the district probably pretty soon actually. Probably sooner than we're going to have all of the kibble farm complete, I'd say. Just kill these Ichthyornises, I hate those things. Better not kill the Lystro. I'm actually probably going to be taming some creatures here for the Kibble Farm pretty soon. Alright, so let's take a look at this Equus then. He's over here. Fortunately, it's raining right now, so that kind of sucks. He's still in here, right? Yes, he is. Nice. Okay, uh, you guys need to be on passive. Don't want Mystique or somebody jumping in trying to save me. No, he just spooked immediately. Oh, okay. Well, we're probably going to have to uh, wait a couple more minutes. Hmm. Alright, well, I guess we'll be back then. It's not working. <laughs> okay, so we're going to attempt this again. Uh, it's going to get spooked. Oh, okay. A little bit easier. Keep moving there. Just a little bit further over there. Okay, 17%. Nice. Okay, well we got him kind of not, well we got him taming anyway, we're in the process. Just want to mention that I don't have control over where he's moving or where he looks, or she even. Because uh, I, I often get that question whenever I'm taming Equus. People are like, what are you doing? Like, why are you running into stuff? And uh, <laughs> you don't get any control, like legit, these things just take control of the game. Man, those door noises are really annoying. Alright. Come on. Any second now. I'm basically just staring at that little icon that says effectiveness. Like, that's the method. That's how you tame Equus. You just stare at that icon until it changes. And then you hit E. <laughs> Come on. Any second now. This Equus is a really cool looking color, though. Um, I'm wondering if feeding it carrots will make it even more orange. Oh, there we go. Nice. 32%. So we're getting, what is that? We got like 8 on that one, I think. We got 7 on the first one. So we're probably getting like 7.5 each uh, feed. So it's going to take maybe 10 more feeds should do it, actually. Yeah, 10 more feeds should do it. Nice. And then we will have this thing fully tamed up. It's definitely really handy to put them into a little pen, though, for sure. And it makes it a lot easier because usually like riding around on these things out in the wild like when you're trying to tame them can be kind of a little bit frightening because I've had some occasions where they've almost jumped into like scary things or like run towards scary things and it's just I, I don't want to die <laughs> I don't want this thing to die 
but you just have no control because if you were to jump off you're gonna lose a huge amount of effectiveness and if it was to get hit I think it does also lose the effectiveness as well which is which just sucks in general <laughs> okay so the seven percent should bring us to 54 or else 55 uh, so we have a couple more feeds after that this might take a little while there we go 54 percent nice this might take a little while so I'll probably just catch you guys back when it is fully done because it might be a little bit just boring just kind of <laughs> riding around in a little square box all right there we go oh it's feeding pretty quick nice all right well I'll see you guys when it's done okay so we got our Equus and I've turned off discord on my laptop blame Evo and Neo there I have 29 unread messages they just keep spamming me <laughs> all right I think we're probably actually gonna be doing some taming with this thing I need, I need more parasaurs, so actually wait, no, they can harvest berries. What am I doing? Definitely need to be doing this. Whoa, holy crap, that's a lot of berries. Look at how good these things were. Man, all right, fair enough. Let's grab off some of these medjo berries. That's pretty quick. All right, let's drop these guys on here. It's more than enough, but whatever. Let's just knock out some things. We get a trike over here. Might as well just start knocking things out because I'm building up a kibble farm and there's creatures here that I can tame. It's a female level 96. Not bad. Definitely handy having this. I don't mind that I hit it after, by the way. It's not going to really matter too much. Why aren't you attacking? What the hell is wrong with you? Just like making everything woozy. I guess I could just kicked him in the face too hard. Alright, so I gotta get some berries for these guys then. And some meat actually. Maybe it wasn't such a good idea trying to tame the Dillo too. Alright, let's grab some berries. Why is, am I still getting battle music? Alright, let's see. Uh, I can drop all the rest. Let's give these to the trike. There you go, buddy. Strawberry. What are you doing? Follow me. Alright, we got one level. I'll probably... Uh, probably level up some melee. I mean, we can just use this as an ass-kicking horse. <laughs> so, I don't know. That could be like the function of this one. Oh, I'm getting stuck. Where is everything? We got a pig over there. They're not any good. I don't need that anyway. Got dimorphs. I need to get those at some point. Where is everything? Usually like a bunch of stuff here. Got Dillos, probably don't really need them for now. Get those maybe later. Uh, what is in here? Carnos, Raptors. Ah, Packy. Okay, I'm gonna tame this guy. Should be able to even with all these creatures around. Uh, just be able to like knock at these other guys maybe as well. Oh, they just killed my Packy. Oh my god, that's a lot of Dillos. It's like a Dillo army, you guys see that? Holy crap. It's like a legit Dillo army. Wait, where's my spyglass? Glad they didn't freaking come after me. Level six, get out of here. Ooh, they're all coming for me. How many Dillos is that? There's like, there's three, four, there's eight Dillos there. Why is there so many? Oh god, I'm not gonna be able to see a thing. <laughs> Just gonna knock them all out. Some of them are still attacking me, so I might as well just keep kicking. Alright. Oh, you're still here? No! Stop. Don't do that. Get knocked out. Come on. Alright, let me make some of these. Can I... Do I have any materials? I don't. Okay. Maybe I'll just tame up this Dillo. <laughs> just chop up his buddy. There you go. Enjoy. Um. All right. Is there anything useful? Trikes? Anything? We have a Diplo over here. Oh, hey, we got a Dillo egg. And Neo's online. After spamming me with messages, he comes online. I should just go kill him. Uh, what? There's more Dillos? How many Dillos are there? No, you're no, no. Come back. Get knocked out. That's what you get. Tranodons as well. I need to, I need to get those. 
This is a male. I think we have a female over there. Why are there so many? Stop. <laughs> Stop. Go. Stop. Get out of here. Oh man, this is a high level for sure. Uh. Alright. We got another Dillo. I'm just killing this one. Missed completely. Nice. Alright, what levels are you guys and what genders and everything? You're female, 162. It's a female, level 24. Alright, well we gotta go get some meat then. Where is the Dillo? Did I not kill it? Oh, there it is. And Neo left the server. Okay. Here you go, there's some more. Some for you too. Got another one down over here. I believe server save. Let's just wait a sec. Oh, there we go. <laughs> All right. Oh, hey, got one. All right, I have to name that after. We got another one over here. Sweet. What are you again? If you're a male, then I don't need to. No, you're a female. Okay, so we have a male and there's more Dillos. How is there so many? Like, I, I killed, like, there was eight of them and I killed six. No, 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 no. Pass it. There's just so many. There's another one! What is happening? Alright, what are you? Female? Female? What are you? Female. Okay, well, we have... What do we have? We need one more, so I'll just go for the lowest level. Okay, go for that level 12. Alright, here you go. Enjoy. <sighs> oh my god. <laughs> no, I th oh, I thought I hit my horse for a sec. That would have probably killed my horse. Um, Alright, cool. So we have a little Dillo pack now. This is going to be good for the, the start of the kibble farm. Just getting some basic creatures we need. Oh, go away. I'm not doing this. I'm not just gonna sit here and get knocked back every two seconds by you. Get wrecked. Whoa. He's ruining my dillos. Alright, can we kill him with the horse? Hit him one more time. Maybe another? And another, whatever. Hey, he's dead. Okay. So, we have this dillo. That's some, what are they called, Alviraptors. Uh, and then this one here is still taming. Okay. Cool. Alright, and we also knocked down a trike and a parasaur. There's another parasaur over here. Don't know what gender parasaur we had at the start, but this is a female, and we'll definitely need it, so. Nope, passive. And it's raining again? Man, never stops raining on our servers. I don't know why. Nice. Uh, enjoy. Sweet. Okay, we gotta. We should probably get some um, some stuff to make up some of these lassos because we can actually drag unconscious creatures with them. That's definitely gonna be something that's handy. Okay. Um. You go in there, and then thatch as well. Enjoy. Uh, let's craft ten. Sweet. All right. Let's see. Can we lasso him? Wait, is this Dillo up? Did we get you yet? You're still down. Okay, I guess I can lasso him over here. Wait, what? What? Did I not tame you? What? How many do I have? Okay, I need one more. Maybe I'll just get this one instead. It's probably going to tame up immediately. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Okay. Sweet. 
So we got our little Dillo pack. Let's grab this Parasaur. Or Parasaur. And let's drag him over to the trike and the other thing. I think we're still able to drag unconscious creatures, right? Are you not? Oh, you used to be able to. Oh, maybe you just can't do it to a Parasaur. Probably. You used to be able to anyway. I'm, I'm not sure if you're still able to, though. But, um, yeah. Alright, well, you know what, guys? We're probably going to end it off here. Um, <laughs> we're going to just probably be doing a lot of taming with this horse. Uh, I got to also name these guys and get them all over to the location, which is pretty far. So I got to walk all of them down there. So for the most part, what we'll be doing is we'll just be dropping creatures over there to tame. And then uh, mostly just doing that on like live streams or whatever, because this like doing this for every single creature just seems like it's not very interesting. So we're going to do live streams. Not sure when the first one's going to be. It might have already happened. It might be happening at some other point. I'm not exactly sure. But uh, we'll be doing some pretty soon here anyway. Nice. Okay, cool. So anyway, if you guys enjoyed the video, go ahead and beat the crap out of that like button. If you guys want to see more, you can subscribe. And uh, yeah, I will catch you next time.